Hello, I am Vikas Misra. I am from BIT University. I am going to uh, present the PPT on RDF, Resource Description Framework. So what is Resource Description Framework? Purpose to provide a structure framework for describing identified things resources. So what is identified in order to make meaningful statements in RDF? The things you are talking about has to be identified in some unique way. So we can write like this HTTP and this to then we can just copy and write it. And it is said as URIs, uniform resource identifiers look like URLs but they may not represent an actual web page so RDF composed of three basic elements first is resources, properties and then classes what is resources, the thing being, being described and what is properties, the relationship between the things and what is classes, the buckets used to group the things the elements are combined to make simple statement in the form of triples. So, RDF, the complete elements are combined to make simple statement in the form of triples. We can form the statement in triple form. That is, first one is subject, then predicate, then object. Main and that starts with Smith. This is our sentence. So, we can give subject as main in black, predicate as has a star, and will Smith as object. Information express, expressing triples. This is RDF form. So first is the our subject, and which is written as that HTTP, and it is given like this and triples, and the second one is predicate, which is DC creator, and the last one is object. So it is bracketed. In the same way, we can write the others. It is first the subject. And then it is predicate and the class is object. And the same things can be written in, can also be expressed as XML, where we have RDF. Can also be expressed as XML, RDF, RDF XML NS, and this the same thing that first we have written in that triples format. So we can write some other one also. This one is some other one. So just RDF description RDF, and here is the end triples, the first format. So here we wrote that, and then uh, we are giving the predicate is creator. So we can make an XML in other like creator and the name of the creator that is add pasto the second one. We can just write like this. And the publisher, we can just yeah, write this front one wg.org and the description is close and then RDF is close. So here we can check that in XML format, we have to close each and every entry tag. So RDF property is type, subclass of, sub property of, range, domain, level, and comment. So type. A resource being to a certain class, so we can like Will Smith type actor. So this defines which property will be relevant to Will Smith. Subclass of a class being to a parent class, so actor subclass of person. So person can be anything, actor, boy, girl. So here, person, actor as a subclass of person. This means that all members of the actor class are also members of the person class. All properties are inherited and new properties specific to actor can be added. So here we can like Will Smith type actor and implies Will Smith type person. Sub properties of a property has a parent property, so has a star sub property of has actor. So this means that if you make a statement using the has star property, a more general statement using the has actor property is also true. So man in black has a star, Will Smith. 
implies when black has actor we display range and domain so the types of resources that use a property has a star range actor has a star domain movie this means that if you make a statement using the has star property to the system will assume that the system is a movie and the object is an actor will smith has a star man in black in an untrue statement but not valid now it is level a human readable name for a resource http colon slash slash www dot all movie dot com slash actor has will smith level will smith then we have comment a human readable description so here we write that and in between we can write the comment first we have to write the https and what we want we can just write here and then comment in the between on the presentation that Rachel gave at the December 2017-70 affinity group meeting so in this RDF diagram we can check how we can uh, check all the properties then fruit subclass of uh, edible things that uh, there are many things that can be edible but one subclass is fruit and uh, edible thing is very very pie type of very pie okay ingredient of blackberry it is an ingredient of blackberry so fruit type type of blackberry okay this diagram can explain all uh, one, two, three, four, four properties of that RDF. And at last, why is RDF uniquely suited to expression data and the data relationships? It is more flexible, data relationships can be expressed from all angles. We can uh, show the property, uh, we can, uh, by uh, giving the property, we can check the, all the properties between the uh, things. More efficient, larger scale data can be read more quickly, more linear like the traditional database not everything like xml so it is not like xml it is not linear okay therefore it is more flexible and more efficient thank you so much